In this video, we're going to attempt to factor 100x squared minus 400. When factoring, we've seen many different strategies and skills that can be employed in order to reach our final solution. The important thing is knowing which tool to use at which time. As with any factoring problem, the first step will always be the same, and that is to check for the greatest common factor. In this problem, a common factor seems to jump out at us of 100. Factoring out the 100 leaves us with x squared minus 4. We can now look inside those parentheses to decide what our next step should be. Inside the parentheses, we decide our next step based on the number of terms, 1, 2. With two terms, we're looking for one of our factoring tricks on either squares, cubes, or possibly fourth powers. Because we see a variable is squared, we're thinking about a difference of squares. It has a subtraction, so let's keep going with that. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is 2. This means we can factor it, keeping the GCF of 100 out front, into the sum and difference of the square roots, x plus 2, and x minus 2. We have reached our factored final solution. We can check our answer by multiplying it out to see if it matches the original problem. When multiplying 100 times x plus 2 times x minus 2, we can multiply it out in several ways. I always prefer to multiply the binomials first. Because there is sum and a difference, we only have to do the first terms, to get x squared, and the last terms to get negative 4. And we still have the 100 out front. Distribute the 100 through, and we get 100x squared minus 400, which is the original problem we started with. This tells us that our answer of 100 times x plus 2 times x minus 2 is the correct solution. We arrived at this solution by doing the GCF first, and then because there were two terms, we looked for our shortcuts. The second power told us to use the difference of squares.